Hi there YouTube, a very quick uh, tutorial on fixing the fatal error message when you're trying to run the virtual machine on Oracle VM virtual box. Let's get cracking. Okay, so uh, I've just uh, basically came across this uh, and uh, so I just thought I'll just put a, a quick tutorial out there. Okay, or how to. Okay, so if I was, if you're like me and if you were trying to run this uh, virtual machine and you actually came across uh, this message here right now so nothing to be alarmed about uh, you know uh, it's just that uh, the system the virtual box has not been able to locate uh, a bootable image of the operating system you're trying to run okay so what we're going to do is that we are quickly uh, going to do the needful and address this uh, right so I'm going to power this machine off okay so it's got resources allocated to it so I'm going to delete this quickly all right, so I'm going to remove this. Uh, yep, delete all files. And before we do that, so we need to, in my case, I'm using uh, uh, Ubuntu. And so I need to download an ISO image uh, uh, file for, for it to be mounted later. So I'm going to head over there. If you haven't done so already, if it's Windows 10, you need the appropriate uh, bootable disk from there uh, to be mounted. So go to downloads uh, and then uh, pretty much follow the online instructions and download the file. Uh, which I've already done. Okay, so I'm going to go in uh, and just show you the location so we need to know where it is. So I've done it in the downloads here. Okay, so here we go. There it is. Okay, so we can point it, uh, we can we can uh, point the path when we need to. So here it is. So we're going to create uh, a new machine here. Okay, so test fix. Okay, so we're going to go to fix. And then next, follow the on, uh, uh, line instructions. Yes, click next. Create a virtual hard disk now. Create as you would know. I'm going to go into VMDK virtual machine disk. Next, dynamically allocated. Yes, please. And there we go. Right now, we are going to fire this away. Okay. So in my case, it'll already be mounted anyway because I've already got one machine running. So as you know, when you be faced by this prompt here, all you've got to do is click Browse and go to your location. So in our case, it's the Downloads folder. Okay, so nice and easy there. And either double click it or open and start. Right, so that should, there we go. That fixed the whole error message there. Okay, now you are your operating system is actually loading. So what I'm going to do actually is I've already got one installed, so I'm just going to show you. I'm going to close this. Okay, yes, power this off for me. And uh, I'm actually going to uh, delete this uh, instant here right now. Remove this and delete all files. So I've freed up system uh, resources. So I'm going to get back into the one I created earlier. Just to uh, show you guys that it's all fully functional. Okay, so I've saved that. Okay, so let's uh, let it just restore. Uh, the whole idea behind this was that there was nothing meaningful to the. So I wanted to just make sure that uh, you know it's it's there. It saves you a lot of search. So, okay, here we here we go. Okay, that so this is where my operating system is running. And uh, I like to allocate a bit more uh, memory to uh, the machine. So it's ease of uh, functionality and it's time saving for me. I can execute uh, and test drive it. So uh, there you go. I hope you've uh, found this uh, tutorial useful and time saving. So please do subscribe. Uh, I will be uh, uploading uh, small fixes to glitches as I go along my learn learning path uh, back into IT. So now you have a pleasant day and uh, see you soon.